Hi, I'm Joel Goodman, CEO of Playdeck, and welcome to our fan story. Uh, here at Playdeck, we have had the incredible opportunity to work on the games that we love to make. And now, we have the incredible opportunity to create an RPG tactics game for this generation, Unsung Story, Tale of the Guardians. With this fan project, we have the great fortune of partnering with one of the most renowned and respected game creators of all time, Yasumi Matsuno. Matsuno-san is, of course, known for his work on Final Fantasy XII and Vagrant Story, along with the high bars of RPG tactics games, Tactics Ogre, and, of course, Final Fantasy Tactics. Expanding upon our fan story, in addition to Matsuno-san taking the creative lead, we have the legendary composer, Hitoshi Sakamoto, who has composed the scores for all of Matsuno's major works, who will be creating the score for the unsung story. This is an incredible fan story uh, in, the, in just the absolute truest sense. I mean, the wonderful thing about being in, in this industry, being in, at Playdeck, is being able to, one, be in business doing this, what you love to do, and at the same time being incredible fans of what you get to do. Uh, I happen to be sitting at dinner with uh, one of, one of our, our advisors who guides us through uh, our Japanese business, etc., just talking about gaming, and I, and I brought up the fact that Vagrant Story was... Uh, my, my, my favorite game of all time. And uh, he let me know, oh, well, Matsuno-san is, 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 is a friend of mine, and I know him when I was uh, managing uh, at Square, uh, which floored me, of course, and, and, that, and that led to, would you like to meet him? Uh, so, so here I am now with, with the fanboy side, the, the dream come true. And uh, six months or so later after that, uh, I found myself in Los Angeles uh, having dinner uh, with, with uh, Matsuno-san. Finally, we came together on this concept, and and uh, fortunately, he, he agreed and wanted to work with us. And so we built and nurtured the relationship. And uh, here we are, making Unsung Story. The first tactics, real tactical combat game that I played you know, was, was Ultima 3. had a combat system. was the first time that I had experienced laying the, the units out on a, on a grid and uh, really kind of um, included for me with, with Final Fantasy was the pinnacle. Final Fantasy Tactics was the pinnacle of uh, that type of uh, tactical-oriented gameplay. So here comes this incredible opportunity for, one, we find ourselves make, being able to make this amazing game with a designer I've loved for all these years and respected immensely, uh, with a product that the community not only wants as much as we do, but wants is on, on, on multiple platforms uh, that fits right into our scope. Uh, we have, as I was, uh, we've always wanted to take our technology and build our core technology to be multi-platform. It has been the core since we've started. Right now we're at the, at the beginning part of the project and that's actually like some of the most exciting time, it's one of the most exciting times of a project in that sense that right now it's, it's somewhat blue sky in the sense that we can create the world that we want to create and so right now we're just going over imagery and, and visuals and stuff and, and, and creating a Bible basically that uh, denotes characters in the world and the scenes and the environments that we're hoping to uh, create uh, uh, for the player basically and so it's, it's, it's you, anything that you can think of you get to do at this point and, and then eventually from there we get to start narrowing it down and focusing it with gameplay and stuff like that and it's just it's one of the most exciting uh, parts of the project because you can just do anything. It's, 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 it's been the focus of my career to get to the point where, where I get to work on the type of games that brought me into to RPG and tactical gaming in the first place and the, the foundation of Playdeck um, the beginning of, of the, the technology that we use to build the, the, the games we've done for mobile so far it was, was me working on my own and my personal time on building you know tactical gameplay board tactical board games um, in, a, in a networked environment and that was the foundation of everything we've done and so it's been the goal from the very beginning. Now here was this, here's this incredible opportunity to go to now to take what we have and go multi-platform. Uh, go, go not only and uh, not only put things on multiple platforms, but be able to connect all of these platforms. So we can now go from uh, our mobile base, you know, Android and iOS, uh, and, and, and Windows, but we can go to PC. Or we can take our technology to PSV, and we can take our technology to 3DS, and use and through through a connected community uh, have this product reach not only all of these customers on their platform of choice, 
but keep them all unified and connected as as one as one as one core core audience. Community has always been a big big factor into what Playdeck does. Um, we do everything that we do because we love it and because there's a community out there who shares our passion. And with this Kickstarter program, it's really interesting to be able to listen to the community, find out what they want, and find a way to provide it for them, which is why we, we've turned here. We want to we want to bring it out to other platforms. We want to make sure that the players can play the game when they want to play it, how they want to play it. One of the things we've been able to do with Playdeck is focus on multiplayer. You know, we've got a really strong uh, engine now for doing both real-time games and asynchronous games to let the players, you know, on their on their own schedule, play against each other and experience these titles. You know, and, um, that's something we intend to build into the foundation of this game. This is more of um, interaction with other players, ways to play against each other, ways to play with each other, um, and, and kind of keep the game alive beyond the campaign. Working on this has been great. I mean, it's been great to see the fan reaction, and you know, we've really built a name up for ourselves, and it's been it's been really gratifying to see that. But at the same time, you know, we're constantly thinking, okay, what can we do better next time uh, with it? So uh, it's it's been a really rewarding experience. Not being able to then extend what we've done as our core, what we've done from from our, our core loves of, 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 and passions over this type of gaming, and then bringing in a legendary creator and being able to work with him, uh, we hope that uh, one, we achieve everything that we, we set out to do, and that it just magically resonates as just a, a new, wonderful, uh, enriching experience in this incredible genre of, of RPG tactics games. Thank you.